Hello, my name is Greg Lane of Strategic Leaders, and I'd like to take just a few moments in this video to talk to you about the difficulty in sustaining process improvements and a little of what can be done to overcome that. The first point is you're not alone, and the data shows this is typical in most organizations. For example, CEO surveys done in 2011 in the United States found that 66% of respondents were not able to sustain process improvements or admitted they were not able to sustain process improvements over a number of years. If you look at some of the larger uh, consulting groups in the world that spend uh, considerable time and effort doing large sample surveys as Centaur and others will peg the number of business process improvements that fail to be closer to 90%. But uh, all data seems to indicate that process improvements in many organizations are not sustained over the long term. And it's fairly obvious that the root cause of this can be that the behaviors or the habits, which are really part of, part of the culture, have not fundamentally changed. A technical process has been improved, some sort of more uh, technical process improvement goes into place, but we haven't fundamentally changed the people supporting it or their, their habits, and we haven't dealt with the human characteristics involved in this. Most of us in life are very comfortable implementing technical improvements. Our careers have been built on that, our successes. I myself am an engineer and a very technical person, and am much more comfortable looking at technical improvements for processes than I am looking at the soft issues. Though I think what we need to do is come up with ways to practically and pragmatically address those soft issues. One, one of those ideas can be in, in the planning system for the soft skills. So again, we're all comfortable in planning for hard skills. And one example of that can be, we'll find in many organizations, whether this is documented or kept in people's heads, we understand who has technical, various technical skills in our organization. We might have it in the form of a skills matrix as shown here. This is for a, a machine shop and their primary machining where we're looking at the columns or the very technical skills and the people are listed along the rows and the quadrants show whether they are at a training level, they are self-sufficient in it, they are an expert and can train others, or they can fundamentally change the process because their level of expertise is in the four quadrant region. And most people are comfortable at quantifying this. But when you think about the soft skills, most organizations don't have an organizational wide plan to create uh, a desired state for soft skills and then help people in a non-biased way address their soft skills. And developing a cultural transformation plan is not something most organizations do, but it can be done. And although it's not done, most don't are, are nervous to touch that on a company-wide basis. It, it, it really necessitates, necessitates creating awareness in people of their own current skills and, and make a comparison to the desired skills for those various positions, specifically in reaching strategic objectives. Because the only reason you want to create new habits and skill sets, in other words, changing the culture, is to meet your strategic objectives. So there needs to be that alignment. There are practical ways to do this. I've put together a new book recently that introduces years of experimenting in various companies and reaching some successful results with pragmatic styles in doing this and developing things like a cultural transformation plan. The new book is called Culturally on Plan, is out and available, and that will, that will give you a very solid foundation of how this could be achieved and how it has been achieved in a number of organizations. More information on this and how we could possibly support you in reaching your strategic objectives through transforming the culture can be found at strategicleaders.com. Thank you.